Hello everyone, welcome back to Indiana Kayak Fishing Journal. The footage I have for you guys today is from June the 19th. June the 19th was the first time this summer I was out chasing two of my favorite species, spotted gar and bowfin. These two species of fish have been around for a very long time, since the time of the dinosaurs, and it really shows in their design. These things are built to survive. They both have a primitive lung so they can survive out of the water for extended periods of time. They both have a ton of teeth. They both have hard scales and thick bodies. These fish were built to survive and they have definitely done that. They're very fun to target, very cool fish. They don't get the respect that they really deserve. So one of my goals for this year, since I caught the state record short nose gar last year, was to catch the state record spotted gar. And this is my first chance to get out and go do that this year. Spotted gar are really fun to target, but in addition to that, these lakes that I'm going to fish for the spotted gar have a lot of bowfin in them, so I'm going to fish for those as kind of a target of opportunity. What I've been using for those bowfin that has been working the best is small spinners, but what I did was I made a spinner um, out of the, some of the pieces and parts that I used to build pike spinners because these fish are hard fighting, hard hitting, and they can destroy lures. So I wanted to make sure that whatever I was gonna throw at a bowfin would be very durable and it's not gonna get broken by a bowfin. So kind of a two prong mission, try to catch the state record spotted gar and try to catch as many bowfin as I can kind of as a side target. I hope you guys enjoy this footage. Very bizarre looking fish. I actually caught one, I can't believe it. Now unfortunately I didn't get that first spotted gar on video. Um, honestly it just kind of took me by surprise and I made a cast to it real quick without even really thinking about it, without uh, reaching up and turning the camera on. So unfortunately no footage of me actually catching that fish. Um, not a real big fish though, it was one of the smaller spotted gar that I actually saw that day. Now the next fish I barely got on video as well, so check this guy out. Big one, big one, big one, big one. I don't think he realized he was hooked until just now. Yes. Yes. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. He's huge. Look at that dogfish. It's a very bizarre looking fish. That's awesome though. He's huge. This is over a 10 pound fish. It's really, really heavy. Easily the biggest one I've ever caught. It was kind of bizarre. I threw a spinner out there and I saw this guy following and I turned the camera off actually because I thought he was going to peel off. And then he just sat there staring at my boat. So I threw that spinner back out there and he chowed it down. Bizarre looking fish, but very cool. Very heavy. These things can breathe air, so it doesn't hurt them to be out of the water for a little bit. They have tons of teeth in that mouth. You can't really see them, but absolutely tons of teeth. What a crazy fish. Very cool. Gosh. 
thing is huge. I don't know if he'll kick out of my hands or if I just let him go and he'll go. Honestly, not really sure. I've only ever caught two or three of these things. Come on. Oh, he's good. He's not happy, but he's good. He's just like, what happened to me? <laughs> that is one bizarre fish. That is awesome. That bowfin is by far the biggest bowfin that I've ever caught and one of the bigger ones, honestly, that I've seen. It was really bizarre how it followed my lure really late to the boat and it was just sitting there kind of staring at me. I barely got the camera turned back on in time to throw that cast to get that fish to bite. That was an awesome fish. Definitely a new personal best bowfin for me. And then I turned around right after that, I went into a different lake and then this happened. <laughs> Unreal. I think I figured it out. All right, here we go. So I'll turn on my scale. Hooking up the net. Okay, so I'll... All right, so it's zeroed out. So let's put this guy in. Seven pounds even. So that would be a new Indiana State record right there. I'm gonna do it one more time to verify. Put him in the water for a minute. Seven pounder. Okay, so I caught this spotted gar and my hand scale weighs it at about seven pounds. I took it into Albion and on a certified scale, it weighed 6.9 pounds, which is actually bigger than state record. But for some reason they couldn't print out the scale ticket. So I'm actually gonna let this guy go. He's a beautiful fish, but I don't want to kill him for no reason, so it's a really neat looking fish. So we'll get him set. We'll get him back. Yep, beautiful fish. Oh yeah, he's still real lively. Yeah, here, go. Yep, there he goes. So that spotted gar would have been the new state record could I have got it certified. It was so close though that I just felt like releasing it was a better option versus killing it and taking it home and then trying to have it uh, weighed at a later time. You know, every minute that these fish are dead, they lose a little bit of weight. And with it being that close to the current Indiana state record, I figured I'll just let it go and then try to catch another bigger one at a later time this summer. Will I get it? I'm not really sure. We'll see how it goes. That's gonna do it for the video today. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you to everybody who likes, comments, subscribes, shares these videos. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one.